As confirmed cases of COVID-19 increase in countries around the world, so does the number of Cuban doctors abroad. Cuba has already deployed doctors to 38 countries, including Italy, Venezuela, Nicaragua, Jamaica, Suriname, Andorra, and Grenada. The Medical Brigade was created in 2005 by Fidel Castro and has been recognized throughout the world for its excellence and efficiency. An example is its highly skilled and immediate support to local health providers who are understaffed, underfunded, and overwhelmed by the scale and severity of the Ebola outbreak. And it works like this. Doctors receive a payment to cover their living costs in the mission country while continue to collect their salary in Cuba. The rest of the money raised is used so the future doctors could receive free education and Cubans free health care. But only countries that can afford it are charged. All these years, Cuba has sent doctors in humanitarian missions to developing countries for free. Washington, however, seems not to understand the concepts of human solidarity or cooperation and has stepped up its campaign to discredit the Cuban doctors. From the moment we're born in this country, we receive an education based on humane principles. The principle of solidarity and internationalism is at the forefront of that. This isn't about politics or ideology, it's about humanity. Cuba has a deep and long-lasting commitment to humanitarian solidarity with other countries and has a significant contribution to make not only in terms of trained medical staff but also the medicines to fight COVID-19. The Cuban-developed Interferon Alpha 2B has been successfully employed by the Chinese to fight the epidemic there. However, Cuba's ability to confront the pandemic is impaired by severe sanctions that have escalated under the Trump administration. To continue to sanction Cuba during this crisis and making it more difficult for them to fight the virus home and abroad is just beyond comprehension. Instead of being a good neighbor and playing a lead role in promoting cooperation and solidarity that such dangerous moments for humanity demands, the U.S. chooses just the opposite, to continue its hostile policy towards Cuba, Venezuela, and other countries. Countries. Our enemy is the virus, not a specific country. We're all in this together, and that includes Cuba.